Welcome to my end of term message for Term 1 2018. And here we are in FKI, where the students are enjoying rejuvenated facilities in their learning areas and corridors, and especially this beautiful garden and playground for the lower kinders. Year 10 students took part in a driver education program run by Vic Roads, designed to build knowledge, skills and behaviour, and lay the foundations for safe driving. The Little Mermaid splashed onto the Scopus stage for four sold-out shows as over a hundred students brought Hans Andersen's classic fishy fable to life. Students are involved in all aspects of the production, from acting, dancing and singing to backstage, orchestra, makeup and front of house. In sport, congratulations to Hillel on narrowly winning the House Swimming Carnival for the fourth year in a row. And in EISM Sport, congratulations to our Premiers. Senior Boys Tennis B, girls softball and girls tennis B, as well as runners-up boys softball, girls tennis A and boys tennis A. While in year nine sport, congratulations to our boys softball premiers and also to runners-up girls softball and boys hockey. Well done to our swimming team for maintaining their place in division one of the EISM. And congratulations to those members of our swim team who qualified and competed at the EISM Champion of Champions Carnival earlier this week with a number of podium finishes. Well-being is a whole school focus this year, and we saw over 500 parents attend an inspiring presentation last month by Hugh van Sillenberg, creator of the Resilience Project. We launched Project Biyachat together this term, a program where Year 10 students who have completed leadership training have volunteered to mentor Year 7 students, allowing older students to connect with and be role models for their younger peers. This term saw the first Year 12 Student Development Session of the year, where our Year 12s are offered fortnightly sessions to gain knowledge, values and skills. Options available were a taste of international law, a session on not stereotyping and being open to differences in people and focusing on commonalities, and the skills option of how to change a car tyre. Purim was celebrated in true Scopus style, with dress-ups, food, learning and a particularly popular Women's Megillah reading. Students have heard from a host of inspiring guest speakers this term. The lead up to Pesach has seen Pesach learning and model Sadarim taking place at all campuses. Year 10 students participated in a Refugee Awareness Day. In addition to hearing from a refugee of the conflict in Darfur, they gained an understanding of the legal, societal and ethical issues regarding refugees through a series of workshops and presentations. Our violin performers played at the One Voice community event. A number of students took part in the world's greatest shave and raised money for the Leukemia Foundation. Thank you to our social action captains for organising this worthy event. Year 6 spent four days in Canberra, seeing Parliament House and other sites of our nation's capital, and paying a trip to the Israeli Embassy, where they were addressed by new ambassador Mark Sofer. The Grandparents and Friends Club held a successful evening in partnership with the Holocaust Centre where guest speaker from Germany, Dr. Astrid Ley, spoke on Kristallnacht, carrying history forward, and Matti Borowski spoke about teaching the Holocaust in Mount Scopus. And finally, I'd like to wish all students, staff, families, and the entire Scopus community a Chag Kasha Vesameach, a kosher and happy Pesach. May it be enjoyable and meaningful. Have a good break, and we look forward to seeing you next term. Hey.